Hello everyone and welcome on back for another video here on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and clicking on this video if you are a returning subscriber. And if this happens to be your first time here on the channel, hello and welcome. My name is Monet, I am 27 years old and here on the channel, I am documenting my financial journey. I've documented myself getting out of debt. I've shown my savings progression and really anything related to finances. I am just trying to share my journey to hopefully help and inspire others so if that is something that you are also interested in then definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button down below join the family and hit the bell so that you will be notified whenever i upload my next video so within today's video as we can see from the setup and from the title we are going to be doing a cash envelope stuffing i will be cash stuffing my first paycheck from my full-time job for the month of april and yeah, we are a little behind. It's been a minute since I uploaded a video, but as I shared with you guys, I was on vacation for the past two weeks. So now I am finally back. I am ready to get back into my routine. And of course that starts with making sure that I stay on budget and budget my paycheck. So if you're interested in seeing how I will be doing that, then definitely just keep on watching. All right, everyone so as we can see we already have the cash in front of us i am running way behind schedule it's getting dark so i'm gonna try and record this as quickly as i can but i do have the cash in front of us to share what we will be cash stuffing this is my bank slip that i presented to the teller so we have 740 dollars that we will be cash stuffing today and this bank slip is available within my shop if you're interested she is back open now that I am back from vacation. So majority of any of the things that you see me use, they are available within my shop. So be sure to check the link down below for the website and see if there's anything that you would like or that would help you on your budget journey. So before I go ahead and get stuffing, let me just move this to the side because I do want to share the breakdown of the paycheck and where the money went. So just a quick overview of the categories that I won't be talking about during my cash stuffing. Um, so this is my paycheck from my full-time job. The total that we were working with is $212. This was after taxes, healthcare, 401k, and tithe. So that is my remaining balance. And in terms of expenses, I only had two that I needed to focus on with this paycheck. First being my rent. I put aside a portion of my rent payment with each paycheck so that was $880 I set aside to be due at the end of this month and then I also have my internet bill that's going to charge me on the 15th and that was for $56 for all of my cash expenses those are my cash dividers so I will be stuffing those and then as well as my singing funds I will be stuffing that as well the one thing that I did want to note is regarding my travel travel i put here 160 dollars um but i will not be cash stuffing that because i did use that and as a heads up my travel is fully depleted um so yeah i spent a little bit more than i anticipated on my little vacation um and then i already went ahead and booked another flight for an upcoming vacation that i'm going to take in july so yeah that 160 covered that so i did have the money but it's already been spent so we're not going to cash stuff that and then in terms of my roth ira i will be putting aside 276 dollars that that also will not be getting cash stuff i just deposit that directly into my roth ira account but to keep up with our tracking, let me fill out my tracker. So this is my 7,000 uh, savings tracker that I have available for a principal download if you also want to follow along. But since I am paid bi-weekly, every two weeks I come in and check off. So 138 plus 138 gives us a total of 276. So we are now at a total of $1,792 saved towards my Roth IRA, which is just amazing to see. And I'm just happy that I have this breakdown so that I don't even have to think about it. I just save. So yes, with that brief overview, let's go ahead and prepare to stuff 
our cash dividers and the binder. And also you guys, before we get started, I completely forgot, it just didn't even cross my mind this month that this is actually my anniversary month for starting my YouTube channel. I was talking to my best friend today and she texts me and <laughs> she reminded me because I, completely forgot. So I do want to take a moment and just say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the people who have been supporting and cheering me on throughout this journey. I can't believe it's been four years. It just does not feel like it's been that long, which is just crazy to think about. So I appreciate the people who've been there since day one, for the people who just joined today, all of the love. I, I just can't express my gratitude. Um, YouTube is something that I've wanted to do for a long time, if you know me, and I'm very shy, I'm very reserved in real life. So to put myself out there, um, even to this capacity and share my finances, it was something that I was hesitant to do, but just a blessing in disguise because this system, this channel, this community, it's just changed my life for the better. And uh, I just wanna, again, just take the time to say thank you thank you thank you and i believe we're due for a little giveaway um that's definitely something that i need to do i have not done that in a while so be on the lookout i'm gonna try and put a little something something together to share my appreciation and celebrate four years of being on this journey all right so now with that out of the way i'm gonna go ahead and put the binder to the side and we will get started with stuffing my cash dividers. Since I was gone for the past two weeks, I didn't use my cash dividers. Um, I was using my credit card while I was traveling. Um, so there's not any change and I don't believe there's any dollars because I wasn't really using cash. But now that I'm back, we're gonna get back into what we know. So spending, I wrote down that that's getting $100. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Adding that to what we have left over, that now gives a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 25. So that is $125 for spending. Up next it is groceries. Groceries is getting 150. I'm just gonna grab a $50 bill. So that's 50, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, making 150. Adding that to what I have, I definitely need to go grocery shopping. In my last video, you guys suggested that I should have went grocery shopping before my vacation, but I am late to do everything. So I was packing at the last minute and I didn't have time to go to the grocery store. So I have nothing in my house. So I will definitely be going on a grocery shop on Saturday. So adding the money that we have, we now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 225. So that's $225 we have for groceries. Up next, we're gonna move along to toiletries. That is getting 50, I think I'll just do a $50 bill um, cause I need to get laundry detergent, um, fabric softener, like basically my whole little laundry setup with my scent boosters, uh, fabric uh, dryer sheets. I need all of that. So I am pretty sure that's going to be a pretty penny because I like to buy, not in bulk, but buy like the bigger bottles just so that they can last me a while. So yeah, we have 50, 70. So that is $70 for toiletries. Up next it is clothing. Clothing is getting 20. So adding a $20 bill, that now gives us 20, 40, 60. $60 within clothing. And then lastly is eating out to no one's surprise. That is completely empty. So I will be adding $40. So two 20s will give me 40. And that will complete my cash dividers. So now that that is stuffed and ready to go, I'm gonna add that to my wallet. All right, and I am ready, ready to spend for the weekend. All right, so moving on to what we have left, we can fulfill my sinking funds, which is some exciting news inside. I'll share when I get to it. 
But starting off, we have annual payments and this is due to get $30. So I will just take three tens, 10, 20, 30. I did just pay for Hulu. So next, I believe, it's either I have to pay for my Costco membership or I have to pay for my Ring membership. I don't know which ones come first, but one of those is coming up. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. $185 for annual payments. Up next we have car maintenance. Car maintenance is getting 20, so we will do two tens. And adding two tens, I now have $1,000. So this is a $1,000 placeholder, meaning that $1,000 is in the bank. And with the remaining cash, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82. So that's $1,182. I believe that's what I counted. Um, so that should be correct, but I'm looking at my money and I feel like something's off. I have way too many big bills. So I think I messed up somewhere. So I'm gonna exchange some of these 20s for this $100 bill because I'm gonna need some 20s. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I'll just put that here and put this in place of that. So hopefully that works out. This is what happens when I'm rushing and I'm not following what I'm supposed to do because I'm just trying to finish this video before it gets dark. Okay, so now we move on to car insurance. That's getting $35. So we have a 20, a 10, and a five. So that's 20, 30, 35. My car insurance is due in May. So that is coming up soon. And I'm saving up for my six month payment. So now we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 405. That is great, $405. And I believe I'm trying to save at least $500 because I think it's gonna go up a little bit more. After that, we move into Christmas. Christmas is getting $20. So adding a 20, that puts Christmas with 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40. So $340 saved up for Christmas. Not too bad. After Christmas, we have gifts. Gifts is getting $10, so I'm gonna do two fives. And I am currently saving up for Mother's Day. I booked a little surprise getaway for my mother and I. I can't go into too much details because she watches my videos and I'm trying to keep it hush hush, but um, I'm putting gifts aside unless I want to get her, you know, anything else, a little something, something else for Mother's Day. So in gifts, we now have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30. So $130 is now set aside for gifts. Moving on to household. Household is supposed to be getting $15. Um, so clearly we don't have any 10s. So I'm gonna put two tens down for the 20 to make change and then grab $15. This is all over the place, but it's gonna work itself out, hopefully. So now within household, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30. So is that also 130? Hopefully I counted that right. 130 in household as well. Here we have medical, um, but medical is not getting anything from this paycheck. I'm kind of on the fence with medical. I have a total of $540 saved up in this envelope. And I just, I don't know, I'm on the fence of if I want to continue to add to it or just leave it as is. Um, I mainly use this for like prescriptions, vitamins, anything that I need, but it's kind of at, you know, an amount that's really enough to last me for the year, you know, God willing that nothing else happens to me. But um, yeah, so I just said I'm not going to add it to this paycheck because I was trying to rectify my spending that I did on vacation. 
So um, speaking of vacation, here we have travel. As I said, we won't be adding any money to this. It is completely empty, um, but we will try and replenish this with the next paycheck that I have coming up and work on building this back up because my next travel is going to be in July. So I'm trying to save up for any spending that, spending that I may need while away in July. All right, and here we have emergency funds. And if you all noticed, when I did my paycheck, I did not list emergency fund and we moved on to home fund. So if you're new here, I told myself that I was gonna pause on my home fund until I got my emergency fund to at least three months um, to you know, just make me feel comfortable that I have at least three months of expenses and then I can begin saving up for my home fund, which is basically kind of like a down payment of wherever I plan on living um, and hopefully owning a home somewhere or you know, some type of property that belongs to me. But you guys, I filed my taxes and um, as you know, or if you don't know, I'm a small business owner and I do put taxes aside. And in the instance when I put aside more money than what the government said I owed them, I treat that as like my refund because I haven't gotten an actual refund from the government in like four years. So I treat that as my refund to myself. And with the leftover money that I had, I was able to complete our emergency fund. Yay! So we now have a total of 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,500. So 6,500 is now put aside for my emergency fund, which is crazy. And for those that are concerned, no, I'm not going to just stop my emergency fund at three months. I will be going back to replenish it. But in this moment, I am trying to focus on my home fund. And technically, all of the savings is honestly in one account. So the money in the account can be used for anything if an emergency arises. But for myself, I'm just trying to separate the categories. It is like a crazy windstorm going on outside and I'm sure you guys can't hear it, but it is scaring the life out of me. So let me wrap this up. So anyway, what I was trying to say is that emergency fund is fully funded, you guys. So now we can move on to the home fund and that should be getting $250. So hopefully that is what is left after I did all that nonsense with the change. So we have 100, 240, I'm sorry. 100, 200, 220, 240, and 250. So that is correct. 250, we still made it. And within my home fund, I did start this last year. So I do have $3,000 already saved. So now we have $3,250 in total for home fund. And we're trying to target my ambitious goal of $20,000 saved. So that will definitely be a journey on the road to save for that. But as for all of the cash and the remaining of my cash stuffing, that is all I have. So that will complete that. So as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, definitely let me know down in the comments below. Once again, thank you for four years. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know when you joined. I think that would be interesting to see how long have you been a part of this journey or list like some things that you enjoy watching from this channel because with four years, sometimes you can lose motivation. You know, sometimes I have those moments and I wonder like, should I still be doing this? Is there a point to this? So I would definitely love to read and see what you guys enjoy the most about this channel and what I offer you guys or maybe some things that you would like to see. But anyway, well, let me stop rambling. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you all next time in my next video. Bye guys.